In this lesson, we will learn how to select multiple columns in Pandas. Let's say you have a data frame and you want to select multiple columns at once. You can easily do it. Okay. With that, if you want to access more than two columns, set it as a range. We will see both of these examples in which we will select only two columns, specific two columns. Then we will also see how we can select more than two columns in a range. Let us begin with the first example. In this, we will create a data frame and uh, to select specific columns, mention them under the indexing operator like this. Okay, just mention the name of the columns you want to select. That's it. Let's see the example. Here we have used PyCharm ID, the free and open source PyCharm Community Edition. Let us create a new project, file, new project, add the project name. Select multiple columns and here is the path of the project. We have created, click create. Here is a project. Now let us create a Python file, right click, new Python file. Here we need to name demo one. On pressing enter, dot py will get automatically added because the Python file is by default selected. I have pressed enter and demo1.py is visible. Create another file. We have two examples, right? Demo2 and here it is. We have two files, demo1 and demo2. Now let us add the comments quickly. Let us see the first example, how to select two columns. First we will import pandas and create an alias so that we don't need to use the word pandas again and again. Here is our alias pd. We have added this using the as keyword. Here it is. Now let us create the data for our data frame. I'll mention data here. You can add any name. Now add the columns. Within this add the records. Let's say I'll add five. This will have student name. Here is the rank. Here is the marks. Now add a data frame. Pandas that is PD dot data frame. PD dot data frame and within that mention a data that's it. We have created a data frame. Now print the data frame. Or you can directly say student records. Okay. I'll use DF and in brackets I need to select two columns. Let's say I need to select the rank and marks column. So directly mention rank. And comma marks, that's it. Do not mention the columns you don't want to add and print this.
selecting only two columns. Okay, go to file, save all, right click, run demo one. Okay, this was the first letter was in capital. Now it's fine, right click, run demo one. We were having student rank marks. Columns we only wanted rank and marks, so the following is visible. The indexes are the default 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, visible here and here also. Selected two columns and displayed it. We saw how we can select specific two columns from a data frame. In the second example, what we will do, we will select multiple columns in a range. Let's say we want columns from third to fifth. For that mention the following two colon five. We have used the data frame dot columns for this. Let us understand this with an example. Second example import uh, pandas. Let me add the data set from here and I'll be adding more of them now. Okay, student rank marks. Also add, uh, let's say, ID. Okay, we have added ID also. comma let's say I'll also add roll number let me add address just for demo Okay, we have added it, comma, okay, that's it. Now we have our six columns. We will display it, right click, run, demo two. Okay, we have missed it. We missed a comma, right click, run, demo two. Here we have our records, okay. Now we will just try to retrieve the records. Let's say I'll just type data frame. In the bracket, I'll type data frame dot columns. Okay. And within that, mention to colon 5. And print it. This will select columns third to fifth. Right click, run. Okay, two to fifth means third to fifth. Okay, two to fifth will retrieve role, rank, and marks. Okay, here it is. In this way, we can easily select multiple columns in a range. Okay, third to fifth, one, two, three, third to fifth. 
role rank marks okay so here we have set the data frame as df you can also mention it as data frame and uh, then you need to just set data frame here as well as here also okay for an example we have named it as data frame you can use df or any name and the same worked for the first example in this video we saw how we can select multiple columns we saw two examples first we selected only two columns then we selected multiple columns in a range using the colon operator 